Right, so this is our last one, but it's a really, really quick vid. or short vid because there's not much to do. So we did some sigma notation. If you remember, I said to you, in a different colour, to write down the first three terms. So you want to do that to kind of start with. So if I put R is 1 in, I've got 3 times 2 is 6. If I put R is 2 in, I've got 3 times 4 is 12. If I put R is 3 in, I've got uh, 3 times 8. So hopefully you can see that I'm not adding on 6, I'm multiplying by 2. There. So the first two terms, you don't know if it's an AP, adding on 6, or a GP, multiplying by 2. But by having the third term, it tells you what you've got. So I want A to be 6, R to be 2, and it wants the sum of the first 10 terms, so A is 10. So I want the sum of, sum to N, because R is 2, use that equation, so the sum of the first 10 terms is 6, 2 to the 10 minus 1 over 2 minus 1, stick it in the calculator, gives you 6, 1, 3, 8. Please be careful, the completed pack takes out 3 as a factor. I just worked it out. So like for this one here, if you do this one, if you follow the completed pack, they take the 3 out. But I don't want to. If I put n in as 1, I get 3 times 5 is 15. If I put n in as 2, I get 3 times 5 squared, so that's 75. If I put n in as 3, I get 3 times 1, 2, 5, which is 3, 75. Hopefully you can see I'm multiplying by 5 every time. So A is 15, R is 5, N is 8, and I'll keep going. Yeah. So that's it then, it's a consolidation after that. So well done everyone. Bye bye. Oops, need to switch off and